Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted a video that the Microsoft Store is set to get a lot faster in this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2. And that's because there is a new version that's rolled out to the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders with port 26100, where there are some major performance improvements. Now that video will be in the end screen if you would be interested. But just to let you know that another small yet, I think a significant change has been spotted in the Microsoft Store in the Insider program. And this has once again been spotted by Phantom Ocean 3 over on X. Now, the, the change is this. Currently in the stable version, if we have a look at our top free apps section on the home page in the Microsoft Store, we get a listing, we get a listing of six top free apps. But if I want to see more top free apps, I've got to click on the link. And then that takes me over to where I can then search through and scroll through all of those top free apps. Now this is where the change is coming. And if I just head over to a little video clip provided by Phantom Ocean 3 over on X, here we can see the change. And one of the new changes in the Microsoft Store in the Canary and Dev Channel Insider program is the addition of previous next buttons, as we can see, in the sections like the top three apps, which let you see more than just six apps. So if we just play that again, you can see those buttons here. So you can go previous next. So they let you see more than just six apps from that section and or collection without having to click its title. So um, maybe not something major to write home about, so to speak, but I still think it's a small yet, I think a significant change. Being able to see a lot more apps in a certain collection or section without having to actually click on that link. And Microsoft has been giving the store quite a lot of attention. And um, I think this will be just another little improvement, which I think will make the whole store experience a lot more um, user friendly and just simplify the whole experience. Because currently, as mentioned, we don't get those buttons in the stable version. You've got to click on that link to get access to all those extra apps. And um, I think Windows 11 24H2 with the store, I think it's going to bring quite a couple of major improvements, especially in the navigation and the actual launch speed when you are navigating through the actual app and you are launching the app. I think we're going to see some significant improvements there. And I think this will just be another little improvement, which will just make the whole experience a lot more user friendly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.